Brooklyn, across the river, the city of friendly people sometimes called Dodgerville. Three great bridges span the East River, linking the borough of Brooklyn with downtown Manhattan. The first bridge to span the East River from Brooklyn was the Brooklyn Bridge, completed in 1883, and the longest suspension bridge at the time. With the rapid growth of Brooklyn, other bridges became necessary. In 1909, the Williamsburg Bridge was open to traffic, and not long after that, the Manhattan Bridge. But Brooklyn keeps on growing with a population of almost three million people. For Brooklyn is also a great industrial city with miles upon miles of waterfront, sometimes called the stepping off point of the world. Brooklyn buys what the world has to sell and sells to the world about everything under the sun. Made in Brooklyn. The Made in Brooklyn trademark is known in every corner of the civilized world. Ships from all parts of the world make Brooklyn a port of call. Ships that move Made in Brooklyn products across the seven seas to lands beyond the horizon. Ships that sail in the night and ships that sail in the day. For Brooklyn never sleeps. Here along the Brooklyn waterfront is one of the nation's largest navy yards. Here, sick battle wagons are put in dry dock and made well again. Brooklyn is very proud of its navy yard, which did a yeoman's job during the war years and gives thousands of Brooklynites year-round employment. Here you get a glimpse of famous old Governor's Island in New York Bay in what Brooklyn calls the Narrows, guarding the entrance to lower New York Harbor and Brooklyn. And here is the Statue of Liberty, extending the hand of welcome and friendship to all regardless of race, creed, or color. Miss Liberty is a symbol of what America stands for. Freedom. Freedom from oppression. Freedom of speech. Freedom to live like a human being. And the pursuit of happiness on these shores. A Brooklyn traffic cop, known to the world as one of the finest. A police officer respected and admired throughout the world. Borough Hall, a famous old Brooklyn landmark. The county courthouse in the heart of downtown Brooklyn, this famed Hall of Justice made history in its day. Through its portals have walked some of the nation's foremost lawyers and judges. But time marches on. Tall buildings that flirt with the clouds dot the Brooklyn scene. For Brooklyn is a progressive city. The home of the Brooklyn Eagle. This venerable newspaper has fought for the betterment of Brooklyn for more than a century. In Brooklyn live peoples from the far corners of the earth, living side by side without prejudices or hate. For in Brooklyn, the brotherhood of man is a reality instead of a myth. Here the small businessman competes with his more affluent neighbor without rancor. From small stores and from horse-drawn wagons. Here in Brooklyn, democracy lives. The Williamsburg Saving Bank building is a Brooklyn pride and one of the tallest in the country. Prosperous and civic-minded, its dollars have helped Brooklyn grow. Fulton Street and a glimpse of one of the nation's greatest merchandising markets. Great stores all, doing an annual business that runs into multi-millions of dollars and giving employment and service to thousands of Brooklyn citizens. Brooklyn is a city of self-respect and self-pride, a city of proud, hard-working people and institutions that believe in fair play and honest dealing. Merchants and citizens who were the lowly immigrants of yesterday and the civic-minded leaders of today. The famous St. George Hotel with the largest indoor swimming pool in the world where one can get a Florida tan in the heart of winter and enjoy all the luxury of the seashore. The home of the Brooklyn Dodgers, Ebbets Field. Fans who are loyal to a fault with their hearts and their dollars for the Dodgers are a Brooklyn institution in a class by themselves. Mm -mm. Sorry boys, no game today. A bird's eye view of a busy Brooklyn street, the city with more churches and houses of worship than any other city in the world. A slice of old Brooklyn, the elevated railroad that will one day be a thing of the past. Buses and more subways will replace the old elevated lines as a more modern means of transportation for Brooklyn is growing. As it grows, it becomes more progressive and more modern. And so the old L has reached the retirement age while other old famous landmarks shine on. The new Brooklyn Library at Eastern Parkway. This new building has replaced the old one that stood on this side. And one of the most modern in the country. 
The Grand Army Memorial. A reminder of yesterday at the entrance of Prospect Park. Statues of famous Americans lend color to the landscape around this famous park. The park covers 526 acres of ground. The original construction of Prospect Park began in 1866 and continued until 1874. Each year something new is added, but nothing is ever taken away. This park is rated one of the most spacious and one of the most beautiful in the country. Like the people, the animals welcome the coming of spring, for they seem to welcome an audience after a winter of hibernation. But winter or summer, Brooklynites enjoy themselves in Prospect Park. In winter, there is ice skating. It has three lakes, over six miles of main and minor walks and drives that cover an overall total of 13 miles. Just now it is sleeping off a March chill. In summer, baseball, cricket, and other games. And in the moonlight, ah, a boat ride on the lake beneath the stars. Bordering the park are the fashionable homes, apartment houses, where the rich and famous of Brooklyn live, commerce and industry live. Then there is the famous Knights of Columbus building, the popular Montauk Club, and the Brooklyn Riding and Driving Club. In the long, long ago, George Washington's ragged, half-starved army marched down these very paths on their way to the Battle of Long Island. To Brooklyn, Prospect Park is hallowed ground steeped in history and glory. Ocean Parkway leads from Prospect Park and runs to the ocean. Here's the famous Interborough Parkway. A short distance from this spot was the famous Tromer's Summer Garden, where old Brooklynites went to sit in the shade and imbibe of Tromer's cheer. The garden is gone now, but Tromus carries on with its big modern brewery. Belt Parkway connects with all main arteries of travel and runs along the seashore. This famed highway is like a scenic tour and tourists never miss it. One gets a view of lower New York and the ships at sea as they leave the New York waterfront for faraway places. This is Shore Road and one of the most exclusive sections in Brooklyn. The Shore Road is to Brooklyn what the Gold Coast is to Chicago studded with dream houses and handsome apartments overlooking the bay. This ribbon-like road is a beehive of activity in the summer, and when the weather gets warm, everyone heads for the wide open spaces. Belt Parkway leads to all the seashore resorts and to the beaches, over hill and dale, along 80 miles of glass-smooth roads. This part of Brooklyn is known as the Fort Hamilton section. There is actually no fort today, only a military post, but the name remains to remind us that once a fort stood here, protecting the shores of Brooklyn from the invader, back in the days when Brooklyn was young. Today, the Fort Hamilton section of the city is graced with fine homes and peopled by substantial citizens of Brooklyn. This is the Dover Patrol statue, the famed Dover Patrol that made an imperishable name for itself. The new Veterans Hospital at Fort Hamilton, one of the largest ever built. The giant institution overlooks the bay and will accommodate thousands of veterans with medical care. Here at Sheepshead Bay is one of the largest pleasure fishing fleets along the Atlantic coast. Both large and small boats take passengers out to sea for a day's pleasure fishing. When the catch is good, the public gets its fish as bargain prices. These Sheepshead Bay fishermen are a part of old Brooklyn and the new. Boats have been handed down from father to son. For once a fisherman, they say always a fisherman, at least here in Sheepshead Bay. Here is a bird's eye view of Coney Island, fabled in story and song. When these scenes were made, the famous old amusement park was getting all spruced up for the summer crowds that were just around the corner. The Coney Island boardwalk is famous the world over. Coney Island, like old wine, gets better with time. There will always be a Coney Island, for Brooklyn wouldn't be Brooklyn without Coney Island. The end of a perfect day. Back again from where we started. Downtown Brooklyn, where darkness never falls, for the lights of Brooklyn never go out. Here in the evening twilight, a glimpse of Fulton Street, DeKalb Avenue and the Borough Hall sections. Night or day, a beehive of activity. Giddy electric signs flash and play their parts. These are the streets that everyone knows and everyone wants to see. Dream Street in the heart of Brooklyn. Brooklyn, the city of progress and achievement. A proud city and a proud people. Brooklyn, may it always grow so beautiful. <laughs>